wow, we're now at a culmination of everything we've learned in this uh, in in this chapter. It was all about counting and probability. So in section 11.5, we're going to do probability with a fundamental counting principle, permutations, and combinations. So notice that we've got fundamental counting principle. In this case, we're talking about more than one set of countable elements. And we know it as M is N. And then they mentioned uh, permutations and combinations. The, in a permutation, it's one set of elements I should say uh, arrangements. Okay, and we know the structure. N R. N is the cardinal number of the set of elements. R is the size of the elements to be arranged. So we're getting total number of order specific sets of size R. Also, one set of countable on finite and of subsets. Both are subsets. That means order not important. Our structure is N R, where N is the cardinal number of the size of the sample set of the set, and R is the size of the grouping. So here we're going to be using our calculator quite a bit because the numbers are large. So we have to get comfortable, and, um, and your instructor types terrible. Steps for construction of probability structures. First, we have to calculate the permutations or combinations of the sample space and the desired event. These are two distinct um, actions. We have to find how many total possibility uh, there is in the sample space that we're going to be using. Then we construct the ratio of the probability of the desired event, permutation or combination of the order specific event, uh, uh, and permutation or combination of the sample space. Use calculator and answer in ratio as a solution. Um, and sometimes if they're very large, we will give a number, but primarily they are fractions. And we'll through these uh, so that you can be successful in the class. All right. It says Tyrone, Simone, Sergio, 
Syra, and Dawn have all been invited to a dinner party. They arrive randomly, and that means no specific order, and each person arrives at a different time. How many ways can they arrive? Well, this is order specific. So we're going to use our, our favorite permutation. And we can either use the factorial or the structure. But I'm going to keep with the structure. So we're going to do, now we, we need the cardinality of our n. n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our r, the size, is all of them. So we're talking about 5. P5. Now we know this as 120 because we've done so many, but we're going to definitely review the calculator. And we're going to put 5 math PRO. Again, you have these notes from the chapter on permutations, but I will be careful to insert more. And we're going to enter the 5 and enter. 120 ways for uh, these five people to arrive at the party. So now we have uh, the second one. In how many ways can Tyrone arrive first and Dawn arrive last? Okay. On this one, I'll need a little space. We're saying Tyrone first and then we have one two three and dawn so we're only talking about this order sequence so we have three so this is three so we have three Right, so I'm going to enter my three first, go to math, P-R-O-B, choose number two, and write three, and I get six. All right, uh, are we breathing? Okay. Now we want to structure the probability, so let me make room for that. Probability. Tyrone first, on last of the five. So we want the cardinality of our event over the cardinality of our sample space. So in this case, our desired event, there are six ways that the three other people besides Tyrone and Dawn to arrive at uh, the dinner party out of the total number of ways they can arrive. So now I'm going to reduce it and probably unlikely, isn't it? Probably. Right. But it's one of that scenario. Okay. So let's look at another one. In a uh, lottery, a player wins a jackpot by matching all five distinct numbers. In other words, no numbers are repeated in any order. That means it's a what? Combination grouping. in any way they come out with the balls from the white balls 1 through 44 uh, and matching the numbers on the gold ball ball is 1 out of 33 so we have two events with the probability so this is the fundamental Counting principle. All right, at the end. Okay, so this one is very interesting. 
So let's, let's diagram it. So we have our sample space. And that is two of them. We have two. Uh, it has 44 as our N. And our R is 5. And it's a combination. Our N is, now that's for this guy, 33. Our R is 1, and this is also a uh, probability, uh, oh, I mean a counting of uh, 33 choose 1. Well, this is going to be uh, 33 for this sample space, but let's do the math and verify. So that you, when I make post the notes, you'll have it. So let's do this. 44 math PROB combinations. So I'm choosing three, and we need five numbers out of the 44. Uh, 106008. Let me verify. My eyes are bad. Well, we're going to have, uh, in this case, uh, we're going to have uh, 33 of them. So 33, let's do it. 33 math, P-R-O-B, choose one. And of course we have 33. That's our sample space, our N. Uh, this is going to be our event. Our event, uh, the outcome is only one grouping for both. This one is a number, one specific number. One grouping of five numbers. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to structure our probability. So our probability is going to be um, five. Uh, no, uh, winning. No, correct. I say correct. Oh, I like that. Five number lotto, and that means we multiply uh, one gold ball. So we want uh, what we have. So our probability of five is going to be one out of that ridiculous number. And one out of 33. So now we're going to multiply numerator times numerator on the calculator and multiply times the 33 big number. 3, 5, Eight three eight two 
six, four. And that is the probability of getting the five numbers from the lotto times the one gold um, ball. Exciting, isn't it? And that's why it's so hard to win a lotto. But people do because they, they pay attention to either making a good guess or uh, luck, luck. Why gambling is so uh, enticing. Okay, so now we have a box of 12 transistors. This is our cardinality of our sample space. Uh, three of which are defective. That is uh, uh, a, the R, if we're going to do that. If three are selected in random, find the probability all are defective. Okay, so then we want, so here we go. We want the probability three defective. So, let's figure out uh, the cardinal numbers for everything. Uh, uh, our n is 12, and our r is 3. And this is, okay, it doesn't matter uh, which ones come first. It's a combination. So, order not important. So, we're going to say 12 choose 3. And we get two twenty. And then uh, three defective. So now we're going to do uh, in this regard, uh, it's only one, isn't it? Because uh, we're choosing one at a time from all of the three. So, um, we're going to do three if pool, choose three, and we get one. All right. So, in this case, the probability that all three are defective is one out of 220. Right. None are defective. None are defective. So what we have here is first our cardinal groupings of 12 choose 3, which is that 220. And that is for our sample space. Then we're going to have on this one, we have to have our 12 minus minus a defective to get it get us the not defective which is what uh, nine so if i did right three from a uh, 12 is nine and so we're going to say nine choose three I get 84. So now we're going to do our probability. Not defective. So in the not defective, oops, sorry, we're going to have our uh, desired event as 84 combinations out of R220. Okay, now I want to show you a calculator uh, app. So we're going to enter the fat fraction, which we know is undone division. We're going to get a decimal. It's ugly. So we're going to hit the math key. Then we see the first one, change to frac. And 
and in to see the fraction. Twenty one out of fifty five. So we did numerator divided by denominator, then we uh, did the math key. We see this, and then we enter in, and then see the reduced fraction. And this should save you a lot of work. So now we have this next problem, and I need to move this. Okay, I'll figure that out in a minute. I was moving to get space. A city council consists of seven Democrats. Five Republicans. So we have a total sample space. Of 12. All right. If a committee of four, so committee means grouping, so we're talking combination, of four people is selected, find the probability that we have two demos. Two Dems and two Reps, Republicans. Okay. So we have an N, which is a fundamental counting principle. We have two uh, probabilities here because uh, it's two probabilities that we're working with. So we need combinations of four because the committee is four. So let's do some serious outlining here. Okay. So, our sample space is all four groupings, all four groupings, okay, uh, and um, so that means that I'm going to have 12 choose four, because it's four, all right. So, so we're going to do that with our cal uh, calculator. Uh, we're going to do 12 math, P-R-O-B, and do 4. And I get... 495. So now I need uh, the combination of the two Dems and two Rips. All right, so I need this product uh, to occur. Well, on the D uh, Democrats, we have seven choose and this is multiply and means multiply because we have this and the other two and distinct sets of possibilities here and we're going to have a five choose two all right so if I do seven math prob and I do number two I'm sorry three sorry sorry and hit two I get 21 I do um, uh, five math, R O B three, choose two, 
I get one. Oh, I did that wrong. Sorry about that. Five math P R V two. And I get ah, some days my fingers work and some days they don't, and I apologize. Math. Number three and choose two. And I get ten. Right. So now that I have these values, I multiply and get 210. Now I'm doing the probability. To do the probability, I'm going to lower it so I can work. I want uh, the probability that the committee has two Democrats and two Republicans. So that's the cardinality of our event, cardinality of our sample space. So that's going to give me, I'm going to write it down here, 210 over 495. Now, I don't want to reduce this. I want my calculator to do it. A calculator out. Scoot it over. 210 divided by 495. And then I'm going to math frac. Enter, enter. And I get 14 out of, looks like 33 to me. That's our probability of getting randomly two Democrats and two Republicans. So now we're changing gears again. And we're talking cards. Uh, a hand consists of four cards. All right. From a well-shuffled deck of 52. Find the total number of possible four card poker hands. So, our N is 52, and our R is 4, and there, so it is a permutation. So, I'm going to do 52 P4. So I'm going to enter the 52 first, math, P-R-O-B, and I'm going to do number 2 and choose the number 4. Very large number, and that's okay. So here we go. Fifty-two p Oh. Ooh, order is not important. Um, it's just any cards dealt. And we need uniqueness in the cards, but not repetition in the cards. This is a combination. I am so sorry. Because that looks really huge. 52C4. I apologize. Much better would help if I do the right number. Just be getting tired. Okay, so we have that answer. Now we want a flush in this four card set, and it's all black cards. So we have uh, 13 uh, clubs and uh, 13 
spades. These are the black cards. So we have a total of 26 is our end. Half of the deck is black. And uh, we want to find the number of black flushes. So we have a deck of 52. Choose actually 26 because we're talking about the black. 26. Choose 4. Nine fifty. Now we're going to find the probability, and this one asks for six decimal places. So the probability of four card black flush. So that's going to be. The 14,950 over that big number of 270,725. And this means calculator. 14,950 divided by 270,725. Ugly decimal. Three twos. It's what it shows. Uh, two, four, six. Okay, so my probability is five, five, zero, five, five, two, two, two. Uh, five percent chance. All right. I'm going to stop there and I'll take it up after.